Hello everyone, how are you doing today? You are all welcome to my channel, Apostle Paul Taiwo YouTube channel, to my recent subscribers I want to say a very big thank you, and to those that have been here all along, God bless you. And if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say a very big welcome and thank you for tuning into my video today. Kindly endeavor to click the subscription button and also the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I dropped a new video or come up for prayers. This video you are about to listen to I believe will bless your heart, and help you to come into repentance, and also strengthen your bond with God and with His Holy Spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Endeavor to like this video, share it to all your friends, contacts and loved ones, God bless you. This testimony is the second part in a series of four. Please read the other three parts. My failure in the destruction of a church in Germany. Later, my master bomber called me to tell me that there was a church in Germany that prayed a lot, and this church disturbed our programs and disrupted our activities in the invisible world. So he entrusted me with the task of extinguishing the fire of their prayers, knowing that I was victorious in all my missions. I took my flying carpet and traveled to Germany, where the church was to see things for myself. Once there, the power that emanated from this church did not even allow me to approach it. I then realized that I was powerless against these believers, I was ashamed of myself. This defeat and this failure were enlightening. I could not understand the kind of power these believers had. I went to report this to my master, the fallen angel. He told me that he too had tried to attack this church, but without success. I was surprised, even my master the fallen angel was helpless before these believers, but the devil is tireless, he will always try to come back again and again. My first meeting with Freemasons. As I progressed rapidly in magic, my superiors decided to send me to Italy, where I had to meet the Grand Master of the Grand Lodge of Freemasons, whose name I'm withholding. There I had to bathe in blood to increase my powers. It was there that I met several political figures from several states of the world. At this meeting, I was given a pigeon named Nice, which was a demon in the form of a bird. Its job was to report to me everything that went on during my absence, and the content of their meetings. So, to avoid suspicion, I bought other ordinary pigeons, so that nobody could understand what I was doing with this devilish bird. Some people who practice occult arts have cats and birds such as parrots or pigeons. At times I felt a sense of guilt, I needed God, I wanted to join an independent church because I felt a void in me and the need to connect with God and His Son. When I wanted to leave the Catholic Church, the fallen angel bomber became angry and decided no longer to supervise my initiation and my evolution in red magic. So, to change his disposition, I went to Ivory Coast where the Pope was visiting, to convince him to speak to bomber. He agreed, but I had to offer 200 people for bomber to continue my initiation. My meeting with the Queen of Heaven, and my participation in the celebration of the Catholic Madonna. Upon my return from Ivory Coast, I was forced to go directly through the city where the Catholic Madonna's Day was organized. I went where the priests of the ten Catholic formations of the city of Laudama lodged. There I had to meet some bishops and ecclesiastical authorities. I transmitted to them the news and the recommendations of the Pope concerning the multiplication of photos of the Holy Virgin Mary so that everyone attending the celebration can get them at a very low price. Each of the attendees also had to bring along a candle for the ceremony as Saint Charlemagne and Queen Margella had to come down to attend the meeting. These two personalities are superior demons that people call Mary and Jesus. In reality, Mary is already dead, the Bible does not teach us to worship her, he who adores Mary commits the sin of idolatry. He unknowingly invokes a higher demon, for the Queen of Heaven, the Holy Virgin, is a fallen angel called Marie Margella. That evening, when the ceremony and the Madonna's day began, I managed to put poison in the water of the city from its source. After people drank this water, I started to catch the spirits of those who were weak in this ceremony and in the city, and as a result, several days later people began to die in many ways so as to avoid suspicion. After capturing the 200 spirits of those who had drunk poisoned water in the city and those who were weak-minded, a mystical plane was sent. I point out that this plane was invisible to the eyes of ordinary people, only the initiates could hear the noises and see this invisible plane. The task of transporting these captive souls was given to a priest of the Catholic mission of the city of Laudama. 
he was in charge of transporting those souls who were bound in chains to the invisible world. I regret bitterly for putting an end to the lives of these people. After this feast of the Catholic Madonna, on March 6, 1989, some Catholic dignitaries gathered for a seminar in Lubango, a few kilometers from Point Noir. This seminar was convened by the Queen of Heaven. She was accompanied by her son Street Charlemagne, and both coordinated this meeting. The audience included bishops and other church dignitaries, as well as writers from other countries. In this seminar we had to solve the problem of the Legion of Mary, because in this matter there was a conflict between two priests, there was already a bishop who was in charge, but there was another who wanted to seize leadership of the group. The Queen of Heaven simply decided to maintain the bishop who headed the group of the Legion of Mary. After this problem, it was time to examine another case which concerned a bishop who was to be expelled from the clergy, because of secrets of the church that he had disclosed without authorization. The Vatican put him aside and he lost his power as a superior priest. He was then punished by life sickness by the Queen of Heaven, it was paralysis, and he died from it because priests were forbidden to reveal the secrets of the church to laymen. At the end of this meeting, the Queen of Heaven proposed to me to marry a woman from the waters commonly called Mermaid or Mami Wada. She was the daughter of Queen Farida. I accepted her proposal without arguing. So, my new wife the Mermaid gave me two children. But many years later, my family forced me to marry a human woman. Following this, the Mermaid became angry and decided to leave me. She left with the two children to the world of waters. The Invisible War Against the Disciples of Jesus Christ Sometime later, in my destructive work, Satan personally entrusted me with the mission to destroy the spiritual life of a man of God who came to Brazzaville for an evangelistic campaign. It was in August 1992. This Christian crusade was to be held in the Stadium of the Revolution, which is the current Masamba Debate Stadium. A large crowd had gathered singing praises to God. Then they raised their voices to pray. I wanted to stop them by blocking their prayers with my astral hand that I had placed over their hands, but it was a failure because their prayers gave off extraordinary firepower. Later I saw a protocol member heading towards me. I thought he had seen what I had done, so I immediately knocked him down by the power of my invisible kick, just like the wrestlers do. To avoid suspicion, I made myself invisible, then I went to stand on the platform where the evangelist Reinhard Bonka was. I stood in front of him to hit him and destroy him. So I sent magic rays to him to hypnotize him and kill him. I saw the man of God speechless for a few minutes, and when he resumed his speech he asked the assembly to pray for him because he said Satan was in the crusade. And when Christians raised their hands to address prayers to God for this man of God, I felt on my body something like fire devouring me and a strong power thrust me out of the presence of the man of God. And finally, not knowing what to do, I was there dumb, immersed in the most total confusion and breathing in me hatred against the evangelist. It was the second defeat for me in the destruction of the churches. If only Christians knew these things they would not be careless about prayer and the word that keeps them from the devil's maneuvers. After this incident, I had to meet my master bomber to report to him what had happened. He advised me to persevere. The next day at the same time, I went to the crusade to sow disorder and distraction in the midst of the crowd and it succeeded perfectly because people were distracted, they could not focus on the word that was preached. That day, there were only two cases of healing. Despite my inability to touch the man of God because he was surrounded by flames of fire, I still managed to cause disorder in this campaign, because I influenced the crowd who wanted at all costs to touch the man of God and this caused disorder. Knowing that I had failed in my mission to kill the man of God, I decided to capture some weak spirits and sacrifice them to Satan in compensation, and I managed to catch 50 of them that I sacrificed to Satan. On this subject, I would like to advise children of God to always be spiritually prepared when they go to this kind of gathering. You must always confess your sins and ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit, for not, all those who participate in these crusades are children of God, there are also agents of the devils. During this crusade, I remained in Brazzaville in Meridian Hotel where I lodged, but I could not know where the man of God lodged because he was protected by God. Seeing that I did not succeed in killing him, I went looking for those who were acting as security officers in this crusade. I managed to catch three of those brothers who were weak. That same night, 
I went to Mambo Palace Hotel where Lucifer lodged to report on my work. He told me that among the people acting as the protocol of the man of God, there was a woman who belonged to a secret society, she was a member of Hydro Congo at the time. The devil told me that he was going to entrust this woman with the task of killing the man of God. Dear brothers and sisters, the devil has taken steps to introduce his agents into the assemblies known as revival assemblies, and they have the mission to restrain the churches, to stir up trouble and divisions in the churches, while preventing true servants from progressing spiritually. The devil's agents tend to work in the church leadership commission and want to be elevated to church leadership. They tend to impose their will on pastors. In most cases, these men and women have always been great corporate executives, and thanks to their financial means they are able to buy the conscience of the men of God blinded by material gain. My journey to the submarine world. As the days went by I wanted more power, I wanted to discover the power that lies under the earth, underwater, in forests and mountains. One morning I called Bomber the fallen angel to inform him of my decision to visit the underwater world. Normally, I had to get a visa from a man who was the guru of a charismatic occult sect in Pointe Neuer, but this man refused to grant me a visa. Thanks to the permission of the fallen angel Bomber, I was allowed to travel to the world of waters without a visa, because in the world of spirits it is the law of the stronger that prevails. In the evening I went to the shore at the edge of the Atlantic Ocean at Pointe Neuer, where the Loyo River meets the ocean. After a few incantations, a path opened and I was able to go down to the bottom of the ocean. After a few meters of walking, a car appeared. This beautiful car came to take me and drove me to a beautiful city where the residence of the Queen of the Coast of the Atlantic Ocean was. I was already in the submarine world under the ocean, the water had already disappeared. I could only see this beautiful urban and metropolitan city that was well populated. The city was big and swarming with people. After some time the queen came to greet me, she was accompanied by beautiful girls who took me to her palace. A wine of honor was served for my arrival, but it was human blood. Then the queen of the coast questioned me about the reason for my visit. I told her it was just a courtesy call. She asked me to wait for a little because she was receiving the only son, that is to say, the Pope, who also visited the Kingdom of Waters that day. While sitting in the waiting room, I saw many businessmen who were in the import-export business. I saw a businessman who import goods from foreign countries, those who own depots, cold rooms, fishing boats. I then understood that many businessmen are in the occult. I understood that 80% of their belongings, such as cars, electronics, and domestic appliances, come from the underwater realm. After receiving many people, the Queen of the Coast delegated a young lady who was to take care of me during my visit to the submarine world. I was installed in a house that was well furnished, and then the lady took me to visit industries of the manufacture of household appliances. I saw car manufacturing industries and textile and other industries. These factories and industries design all kinds of articles, devices and instruments that we use on the surface of the earth. These clothes and appliances designed in the water world have marks, signs, and seals that bewitch humans that use them. After visiting the industries and factories I was taken to a place that looked like a prison, and there I saw many people chained. The lady who accompanied me informed me that these people were Lucifer's servants who had failed in their missions. Sometime later, the young mermaid lady took me to a very large room where there were some very sophisticated machines and devices, capable of torturing and cutting off people's heads. I saw machines that were put in place to extract fat from human corpses. These machines were also extracting blood and water from corpses. The young mermaid lady explained to me that the water extracted from the bodies of victims is sent to the Vatican. This water is mixed with natural water and other substances to become what they call holy water, and then that water is sent to Catholic parishes around the world. The lady told me again that the fat extracted from the body of the victim becomes incensed, especially the benjoin incense containing a powerful magical power. The heads of the victims are crushed to design lured incense used by businessmen to attract prosperity. There is also Jerusalem incense conceived from other parts of the human body, Nazareth incense used by priests is also made from other parts of the human body. After that, the girl took me to a place that looked like a farm. I saw many animals like pigs, oxen, and poultry. I questioned this lady about these animals and their use. She said to me, unless I explain it to you, you will not be able to understand. 
As the girl was still talking, I knew in my heart that these animals and livestock on the farm were human victims of human sacrifice. This lady told me that 70% of the food and meat we consume on the surface of the earth comes from the submarine kingdom. She also stated that the many businessmen I saw in the waiting room and received by the coast lady, are their associates. Much of what they sell comes from the marine world and they mix them with other stocks from Europe and other parts of the world. Brothers and sisters, we must understand that most of the meats we consume on the surface of the earth are human meats, mixed with those from cattle. This kind of food causes all kinds of health problems and even diseases that become incurable. Pray before eating. While the visit was still underway, the Queen of the Coast joined us and we continued the visit together. Sometime later a group of beautiful young women dressed in a way to provoke womanizers arrived. They were all extremely beautiful, they were about to be deployed on a mission on earth to seduce the nations. They came where we were with the Queen who introduced them as her daughters. They prostrated themselves before the Queen of the Coast and asked permission to go to the surface of the earth to spend the weekend. The Queen placed her hand on them and said, You have my blessing, go and seduce mankind. Christians must understand that the beautiful women and beautiful kids we see on earth are not all ordinary humans, but physical demons. Many people are victims of their evil power of seduction and end up getting missing because they could not resist this demonic attraction, and end up in submarine jails of the kingdom of waters. Many demons come from the world of cemeteries and the underwater world. They have the human appearance, they have beauty and money, beautiful cars and many succumb to their charm and are seduced by their money. When these young mermaid women went to the surface of the earth, we went to visit factories and fabric design industries like super wax, corduroy, and super scent material. The queen of the coast also told me about oil companies in the Atlantic Ocean. She told me that no company can exploit oil in the Atlantic Ocean without her authorization. Once a company signs an agreement with her, she will personally take the company staff to the untapped sites and oil reserves under the ocean. Beloved, I would like to emphasize that we must always thank the Lord before eating because of the nature of the food of this world. Many businessmen in the markets are agents of the devil. So when you go to the market and you see the crowd surrounding a particular vendor, you should avoid that person. Many chickens sold on the market are babies. After my visit to the Sea Kingdom, I returned to the surface of the earth with many gifts from the Queen of the Coast. My second trip to the annual World Summit in India. As we had to participate every year in the World Summit of Satanists, at the end of the year I traveled in the parallel dimension to attend the annual meeting of Satanists in India, where I was appointed the supervisor of the big market of slaves in our area. Let me emphasize that this is a spiritual market where souls who are captured by Satanists, sorcerers, Catholic priests, occult pastors, etc. are sold and purchased. This slave market is invisible to the natural eye, those who do not have spiritual eyes cannot see it. The market is located in the city of Buenza, at a place where sorcerers and Satanists sell human souls that have been captured, and occultists go there to buy these souls. I was also responsible for working with Satanist doctors to initiate babies in their mother's womb so that their lives would be at the service of the devil. Many doctors are occult members, sacrificing their patients to the devil for the prosperity of their clinics and hospitals. In this annual meeting in India, there was a discussion about the political change in my country and the devaluation of our monetary system the CFA franc. We also talked about the political situation in many countries. All the major events that happen in the world are organized and planned in the spiritual world, whether pandemics, social unrest, armed conflict, wars, everything is organized and decided in advance at the annual end-of-year rally. At this meeting, the fallen angels and principalities organize, plan and schedule the social, political and civic events that will occur throughout the world and in every country of the world. In fact, every country on earth is governed by a principality. This is the real ruler or leader that runs a country because the principalities are the leaders of the countries of the world and not the physical government and the president we see on television. It is the principalities that decide what will happen and take place in their respective countries during the end of year annual summit held in the basement of India, the official headquarters of the world government of Lucifer. After attending the annual Satanist World Summit, I traveled to the underwater realm of the Atlantic Ocean, where I was received by the Queen of the Atlantic Coast in an urban metropolitan city. After that, 
I had to travel to Angola to fight alongside the rebel leader Savimbi as it was decided in the Satanist global meeting in India. Our help to the rebel leader was spiritual, we were fighting the government forces spiritually, and the victims of this war were human sacrifices. There is a visible army, but there is also an invisible army that is demonic. The demons were fighting alongside the rebel leader Savimbi's armed rebellion. This rebellion progressed because it was supported by demonic troops that were invisible. I would like to inform the brothers and sisters of Angola that the war in your country was not a normal war. It was decided, arranged and organized in the kingdom of darkness to overthrow the president who had been established by God. It is important for believers to pray for their country. Many Christians do not take the time to pray. Grace be with you all who have Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, Amen. Bye for now. Hello everyone thank you for watching our video for today, I trust it blesses your heart. Endeavor to like this video and share it to your loved ones, I pray the grace of the living God will continue to rest upon you and upon everything that pertains to you in the name of Jesus, Amen. If you have any question or comments kindly drop them in the comment section, God bless you. See you in our next video and have a lovely day, bye for now.